hot mess. <laughs> okay. Listen, I just put a black Christmas tree in my job. Isn't it cute? I did good for what they had, what they have, and they provided. So, yeah. And you see my cute little A for Avis thumbnail. So, anyways, you guys, I'm currently at work. Y'all at three, ready to get home. To do nothing that's probably a lie i know i still have to um prepare dinner we haven't left work we had last night we had um some oven smothered fried chicken um sit down some oven smothered fried chicken last night for dinner i cooked with some um italian stream beans the big chunky ones with some um cornbread and rice if we don't have gravy of course but um it's time for your girl to get um Push away from the table. No, I, I would not say push away. Push away from the table when it comes to eating hearty soul food and rice and the pastas and gravies and stuff. Because, I mean, I'm still at 225, 227. But, you know, muscle is leaner than fat. Fat is banned. Fat, you know, you can see a whole lot of that. So, if you understand the body. But, anyways, I'm getting like a little too bit chunky. I don't like the way my body is looking now. So, yeah. Um... It's time for me to fall back and do what I need to do. So that means up in my protein, then go some of the carbs because you can have carbs. That's the thing. You know, you don't have to cut out all of the carbs. That's the thing. You can have carbs. Just small amounts. You can have carbs. Um, and the thing is, you have to put yourself into a calorie deficit. So basically, um, you need to eat and burn. Ugh, I just had a brain fart. So anyway, um, you have to eat the right kinds of uh, meals. You actually, you actually could eat five times a day, but it's what you eat. So say for instance, like for breakfast, you can have like, hmm, I don't know what you guys like, but I'm just give you a good example or something. Um, you can have like maybe two boiled eggs, two fried eggs. You know, not fried fried eggs, but you know, you have a little bit of uh, a little oil or something in the pan spray it or whatever um like two boiled eggs or two fried eggs or two eggs in general um then you can have you a piece of bacon or avocado or some fruit on the side or some yogurt with some little granola crush inside of it or or oatmeal so not all together but i'm just saying you can have these things but you can have like eggs with bacon or yogurt with, with a link of two two or three little links on the little, little small ones like that um but definitely pay attention to the calories. So you basically get the calories and make sure you don't go over your calories. That's good. And also make sure you burn at least 700 calories a day. You can burn, your body burn more than that on its own. If you're, you know, kind of active in your day. A regular active person. So, um, so I definitely need to do that. You see? Girls, look at this. Honey, y'all remember my collarbone? I used to be crazy about my collarbone. Where is that collarbone? I mean, it's bad right there, but it's not like... Define like I like it, you know. You you guys might have to brag on that. When I had lost my weight, and it, everybody used to be like, when they lost that weight, they be looking at they, they booties and all this kind of stuff. Baby, I was more impressed with my collarbone. Like it was like that by itself without me doing that. You get what I'm saying? It was like this, and I liked it that. To each his own. I liked it that. I like to see that. And now my neck got a little chunky. Even hubby said, yeah, baby, neck getting a little chunky. I mean, I, that, that doesn't bother me when he says it. But it reassures me. Let me know, yeah. Bitch, you gain weight. And I know I gain weight. So, because my clothes, I feel like my clothes don't get on me. But everybody, like, hey, but you're not even big like that. What are you talking about? To you, I'm not big like that. To me, I am. So, in that case, girls, I got to do what I got to do. Because I'm not going to be sitting here. Gaining all that weight back and then be like, damn, like, what happened? So, I definitely know I need to put the sodas down because that's my main thing. I need to put the sodas down. I need to put the juices down, the teas down. I got tea with me now. Um, and definitely snacking. I snack a whole lot more than I eat. I don't eat real meals all the time. I should be eating meals because if I meal prep and I can do things the way I want to, then I, can, I, I feel like I can do a whole lot more better because of the simple fact that my meals are already prepared or therefore if I have healthier options in the house versus 
I'm buying going to Sam's Club and Costco and, and stocking up on all these snacks and stuff for the kids or not. Like, oh, yeah, bump there. Like, um, their cookies and chips and stuff they like, whatever. Which I shouldn't even get getting them something, even though they are slim and trim, though, but they have high metabolism and things. But, you know, yeah. And also, I even reached out to my weight loss clinic. Remember, I used to go to weight loss clinic like 10 years ago? They have, they have the shot now where they help you lose weight. There's a lot of shots out on the market. You have to do, do your research. The main one booming right now is the Manjaro. Okay? Look it up on TikTok. If you're not on TikTok, you need to get on TikTok. Okay? Make you a little fake account if you want to. Get on TikTok um, and look it up. Called Manjaro. If I get a chance to remember, I will put a, uh, uh, um, how you spell it in the video. If I remember, because half time I don't remember that, because I don't watch my whole video when I'm editing. I just edit it and get off. But um, yeah, but it's called Manjaro. The my weight loss clean I call them. They they have the um, I'll call it off brand, but it's still the same active ingredients in it, and it's a hundred dollars a week to get the shot. You get we get a shot once a week. So you get the B12 shot. You get the the weight loss shot and also um you get um those perfetamine what it was called those pills uh for the boost your metabolism which i feel that, that that affected my heart hold on one quick i gotta go do something okay i'm back i had to go tend to a guess so anyways it's 2 20 now and i'm ready to go ahead and get up guys Anyway, question to my married folks or whoever, you know, it's necessary you have to be married if you've been with somebody a long, long time. What do y'all do when y'all reach that certain bump in y'all relationship? It's that, I have said this before. I'm not the same person who I was 5, 10, 15 years ago. You get what I'm saying? I'm not. I mean, I still have some characteristics of myself, of, of myself and things I might still like from back then, but the person I am now, she doesn't like the same foods. She doesn't like the same things. She don't like the same people. She don't like to do this. She don't like to do that. It's different things I like and different things I don't like. Some things I fell off, some things I... I adjusted to is something that just found that I hey I like and I think it's called intention in my relationship yeah and also like I'm older now I'm not young anymore you know and guys my body is changing. My body going through different changes right currently right now as we speak. Things I'm not understanding. Like why is this going on? Why is this happening? And then he got things going on. I can tell him I'm wrong. You're like such and such is oh, what is the deal about going to the doctor? I don't know what's the deal with men by going to the doctor, but they need to start going to the doctor. They're scared to go to the doctor, then they wait so long. If something happened, it's too late. They can't do nothing about it. You get what I'm saying? I don't know what it is, but we're working on that too. Um, then you know I'm mom, and the children are getting older, and now they become more interested in things, different things, and it's just like I feel like I'm so overwhelmed, and like I broke down yesterday. I had to go to my grandma's house to come in the bath on me. I literally broke down and cried. I'm like, she's like, what's wrong? I'm like, grandma, everything is wrong. Like, I like, I just, I. I Ain't no damn menopause. I'm in my thirties, baby. But it's just so much. I feel overwhelmed with so much stuff. It's just mom life, job life, wifey life. Where is my life? Where is my? And I just want stuff to go smooth. I know that's. I guess that's being unpractical. But I want things to go smooth. Like no arguing and no fussing and. I know we're going to disagree, and I know, you know, and I think another thing is that maybe, I know if I, I okay, 
I know I change. I just literally just thought about this just now. I'm so dead though. I know I've changed. So, Avis, is there a possibility that your husband changed too? And when you're changing, are you changing for the better or are you changing for the worst? So maybe that's something I need to talk to him about today. Because I know I've changed it for the better and and we have talked about some things or whatever and his big issue with me is I don't respect his opinions. And my big issue with him, which you guys have known, I want him to be the lead in our relationship. You know, I can't help that I'm dominant. I can't dumb that down. I could dumb that down, but so much. But I just can't just... Mm, you get what I'm saying? I can't. So what am I going to do? I'm trying here, you guys. You know, I'm really trying here. And... You just can't help who you are. And the thing is, I think... How you raise is, is basically you kind of how you are raised in a way who raise you. You get a lot of those traits. My mom is like that. My biological mom is like that. My sister is like that. Who was raised by that type of woman? She was the more dominant one in her relationship, and I guess you kind of attract people like that. Which is weird because my sister kind of do the same thing to her spouse. Which is funny to me. But, and, but she and I both crave and want the same thing in our relationship. We want our men to be more dominant than what they are. And now, don't, don't get me wrong. They're great providers and all that other stuff and, you know, whatever like that. But we want them to be the head and we can, you know, we can... We will back you. You get what I'm saying? You will take the wheel and let me just relax because I'm tired of taking the wheel. I'm tired of driving this relationship. I'm tired. But anyway, on another note, you guys know I had to talk about it. So, it's about Eva Q. So, you guys see that she has got married to her Nigerian man. A Nigerian African man. You know what? I say kudos to that shit. You get what I'm saying? Nobody has time to be sitting around waiting for love and waiting for a guy to marry you, waiting two, three years for somebody to marry you. That's a long fucking time. And then because especially if you're older, it's hard enough just finding someone that's right for you and then you find someone you feel like you're equally yoked. You get what I'm saying? And y'all are compatible. In a lot of ways, and you're like, okay, this might be the one, okay, this might be. And then they wait two, three years, four years to marry you. And another thing, I feel like you do need to definitely know a person, and you have to like know them, know them. Don't now, don't get me wrong. I was kind of shocked. Was like, okay, seven months is a little, you know, to know someone, then marry them. But if you know, you know. Um, just like be love, she said she was with her husband she knew she was with him nine months and then they got married so I'm like they got engaged and then the next week they were married it works for some people not for everybody okay and to me she seems really happy you know to me she seems like she could be happy you know so we don't know what's going behind the scenes but neither at the same time, it ain't not business. But since she put it out there, we have opinions. Now, I did see a lot of people talking her in the comments. They were saying a lot of negative shit. One of them kind of pissed me off. And I did go ahead and work with her back and forth because she was like, um, called Q a slut or some kind of like a whore or something like that. And that's why she jumped from man to man. She's a slut. Bitch, that bitch had done pissed me off. I had done went off on that hoe. I'm like, yo, I mean, like, literally, you an old ass hoe. Sit down somewhere. Like, yeah, you gonna come for her. And you old as shit. Are you mad? Tell her, bitch, you big mad. You mad? She got her Nigerian African king. She's fucking, you know? 
Oh, excuse me. That is kind of true too, because you know she's 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 a she's a river queen. I so leave her alone. How you doing? But yeah, that shit had done like struck a nerve. Like how you gonna sit down call another black woman a slut or whore just because a, a relationship did not work out with with somebody else? How many men have you relationship did not work out with you? Like what the fuck? How, how you can open your fucking mouth and say that, bitch? Now, anyways, now what I did say to my hubby, I could be wrong, but I'm just evaluating. And another thing before I say that, I've been enjoying her content a whole lot more now. If I've been on YouTube, I like literally, I have not been on YouTube watching videos, period. I hardly even be on YouTube. I'm not on YouTube posting or advertising my business don't forget to check out www.justsnatch.com i got plenty of things on sale if you need any type of luxury item bag purse outfit shoes i got you just just contact me info will be below but anyway um it's more refreshing and it's good to see i love all the smiling the talking the the different culture you get to see and i but this is what i did say i just i, I don't see he was staying in Nigeria for a long amount of time. I think after a while with them being married, she's gonna try to try to get him some type of green card or whatever for him to move over here in America or something like that because baby, the way that food set up over there. But what I see, I think I don't know Q personally, but I, I kind of get off of like a not bougie, but you know, of better standards. I, I'm not gonna say Nigeria is low class and like that. But they had so many flies over they over they meat area in the market. I was like, fuck no. And then she did say that in the video. I was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want that shit either. And then they had offered her a piece. And like, I said, no, she she gonna fucking eat that shit. Cause if you would have saw it, you can go see it. They got their own channel too. So like I say, I actually been enjoying it cause like I, I don't be on YouTube like that. And I basically like watch it from beginning to end. It, it's, it's entertaining, I guess, because it's, it's something new, and I'm trying to see the culture. It's not about the man; it's about the culture. And I like like looking in the background how how they do things and how because like when they go into shops and stores for what once that she saw or what she showed us. You can't just walk around the store and just like look at different items. They're looking at baby clothes for uh, her for her baby. Um, you just gotta watch the video. I'm not giving her too much shit. But anyway, the lady giving her stuff to look at and show. No, I want to walk around the store and look at stuff on my own. I want to walk around and be able to look at go through. The, there's no racks, so you can look at. Oh, this is cute. Oh, push that back. That's cute. No, she pulling everything off the shelf and say, Oh, what about this, lady? I don't want to do that. Let me shop in peace. I don't want to entertain you. I want you to entertain me. I want to walk around and shop in peace. But anyway, um, yeah, the meat. Look, I was so tickled when she when she said I was thinking she was like that was disgusting because the bunch of flies over all the meat. Count me out. Well, folks, I'm going to just wrap it up and I will see you guys later. I guess when I get home, I'm gonna try something new today. So I'm gonna guess I'm gonna show you that. I don't know why I fell upon my head to do this, but I'm gonna do it when I get home. You guys can see it. I'm going to taste this for you. You know I'm going to lie. Because if it's good, if it's good, if it's not, I'm throwing that shit in the trash. I'll see you when I get home. Well, folks, I'm going to just wrap it up. And I will see you guys later, I guess, when I get home. I'm going to try something new today. So I'm going to guess I'm going to show you that. I don't know why I fell upon my head to do this. But I'm going to do it when I get home. You guys can see it. I'm going to taste this for you. You know I'm going to lie. Because if it's good, if it's good, if it's not, I'm throwing that shit in the trash. I'll see you when I get home. You guys, I am home, relaxing, baby. I'm gonna go boil me some eggs. I just put me on like a um a ham roast, whatever you want to call it. Like well, pork roast, not a ham roast. Excuse me. I need some boiled eggs. I'm gonna use motherfucker by fire. But you were like, nah, eggs. Hey, just boil eggs, no, baby. It's how you season them, joking, baby. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I sprinkle a little chicken bouillon on it. The um the pop 
full blow portal. That was this brand. I put some Kinders on there, Kinders. They um, uh, buttery steakhouse. See that? I did that. And some accent and baby. The rest is history. The rest is history. And I'm sitting up here watching Tasha K. Hey, how she talking about Miss Little Truth and tell me I'm not the only person getting the fuck tired. I'm 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 getting. I am there. I am tired the fuck of the Truth family. Period. I think the whole thing was a damn plot in a skit. Bullshit. 